Problem number six, week six, sectioning views. Book gives us two views. Problem front and left side, I guess. Solve for the section view. Looks like this thing is uh, it's printed a little bit out of round. Uh, that should be a round circle. It's not round. Oh well. We'll just deal with it. So we'll put the uh, reference line here, the minor line to here, which means the back of the object would be right up here. Three blocks. So the best way to do these is to section view, section cutting line is right across there, which means direction of view is in the direction of the arrows, which means we're looking down at the part. If the cutting plane line was right across here, above the part, looking down, then we'd have a top view. Since the cutting plane is through the middle of it, we're going to have a section cut through the middle of the part. But it's going to look a lot like the top view. So let's put in quotes top view. Let's create the top view and then turn it into the section view. So if I create the top view, each point I can project up. Each intersection of the cutting plane with other features. So the front of my part is going to look like right across here. This is a slot, this parallelogram here is this feature here, this hidden line. So it's a half a unit in, right to here. Sorry, missed that one. and across there. Now the slot is from the top, it's hidden back to here. There's my hidden line. This cylinder, half cylinder, is this feature, two units deep. So there and here. The hole is a little bit long, a little bit wider than one one block. And a center line down the middle. And this plane, if we label this A and this as B, these two inclined planes this plane goes from, this is A, goes from here all the way down to the center line. So there's A, B is in the background. It's underneath from here and all the way back to there. Now let's turn this into the section view. We'll call this section CC since I use A and B. So this is C and C. So when I cut through this, I'm going to expose this hole, these two holes. So those two half cylindrical holes become object lines. This hole is exposed, becomes an object line. The change is in A and B we're removing this top half so A starts here now to there so we project it out that's now A this part of A disappears so some object lines in a section view may disappear B is only seen from here to here now as a hidden line right here. If 
from here to here the slot if you will is changed it's now open see from here to here is open and A half of A is seen to here this you can see all the way through and B is hidden from view and in the section view we do not show in lines. Then we add the section lined area, the material we're imagining we're cutting through. Section lines are parallel about three to five millimeters apart, starting and stopping in an object line. And that would be the solution. I guess there'd be a center line right here, but we wouldn't really be able to see it. So, again, now this is in a, in a line section. We're cutting through here. One leg in a line section is always a normal. It's always vertical or horizontal. And the other one is at some angle. We'll label this AA. Now, for an aligned section, the normal leg, that's going to be a normal section looking through this way. But this one is a little bit funky. Whatever feature that we go through with the inclined leg, this is the feature that we're trying to exaggerate or trying to uh, show as a symmetrical feature. So this leg is actually revolved until the legs are parallel, until they're on the same line. And whatever features on this leg moves with it and is superimposed if it's here and then projected over. So to draw this thing as a right side view we would draw it like this draw your normal view this would be a right side to begin with, then we're going to change it into a section view. We have a center line down the middle, that's not going to change. These holes, if you notice if we project this hole up and project that hole down, they don't meet one another. Okay? The reason being is because they projected these holes as if they were turned 45 degrees and they were on the outsides. We do that so that the distance between the hole and the center, this radius here, is the same in this view between here and here. As it is here. So we didn't turn the legs, so we didn't turn these what we call a fin, or a, yeah, I guess it would be a web. Uh, we didn't turn those too, we just turned the circles. So we do it the same way. We're going to put these things a little bit outside of, instead of across here with the center line, we're going to do it here. I'm drawing these in light because I'm going to change them later. The hole in the center. So that's my right view, as if I was looking from the right side. That gives me in the right location and in the right orientation. Now we're going to turn it and change it into a section view. So we're cutting through the cylinder here. We're cutting through the base in the top half here. And in the bottom half, we're cutting through the hole but not through this webbing. Now, I'm going to assume that this is a web, okay? A web or a fin, we, we, we display it a little bit different in a section view. So, if we have a very thin member, 
and we were to cut through it, what you'd do is you'd end up getting a section through, let's see, through a hole here, through this solid, through that web, you'd get this big old section view like this. It would look kind of weird because it looked like it was thick all the way around, the same material was, was thick all the way around. We don't want to show that. So what we want to do is we want to show the, the fin or the web, this fin type material as if it's very thin. So we kind of show that we depict it a little bit differently. Let's just draw it in nice and dark. It's things that don't change. This outside. doesn't change. Let's do the bottom half first. So this hole is revolved as if it's here and across. That's good. The fin is seen in the background. So that's just drawn with object lines like this. So we're going to be cutting through here. So this is sectioned. We're changing this from a right side view to a section view now. We're cutting through this, we're exposing the inside hole. There, there's our sectioned in the bottom half. Again, the fin is in the background so it's not sectioned. In the top half we are going through this fin. We're exposing the hole so the hidden line becomes an object line. Uh, this hole is in the foreground so we don't see it. That hole is in the background. We don't show hidden lines. So we lose that information. But if, again, if we were to section this, this wouldn't look symmetrical. So this is what we normally do. We'd put a hidden line in for the fin, for the thin member we would section this I've seen it done like this before in the book you may also see it with half the section lines shown in here normally hidden lines are not shown in a section view my hidden line is across here so when you see a hidden line in a section view you typically go wait a second that's not supposed to be there so it draws your eye, draws your attention to this area. And that's what we want to do for a web or a, or a rib. We want to draw your attention to there. So this is a couple of the ways they do it. They uh, either section half through there or just do a hidden line through there or both. There's different ways I've seen it done. But they bring your attention to that area so that the part looks symmetrical. We would have a center line through here, center line through there. And notice how it still looks symmetrical, even though it's not quite symmetrical how we're cutting it here. It should say, as it says there, Section A. Section AA.